Okay, let us take some more questions uh, based on uh, simultaneous linear equations. So let's read the question here. A number consists of two digits whose sum is 5. When the digits are reversed, the number becomes greater by 9. So again, let us assume that the two digit number. So let the two digit number. Let the two digit number be xy, right? where x is my tens digit and uh, y is my units digit. Now the sum of these two digits that is x plus y is equal to 5 and uh, when the digits are reversed, so let's see what happens when the digits are reversed. This is my first equation by the way. When the digits are reversed, when the digits are reversed, the number becomes, the number becomes uh, y x right that is the units place and the tens place those uh, digits they get interchanged therefore let us now see what the condition is when the digits are reversed the number becomes greater by 9 that is as compared to the original number the new number is greater by 9 what it means is if i take the reversed reverse number and I subtract the original number from it. Because the reverse number is greater by 9, the answer to this subtraction is going to become, is going to be 9. Now please don't think that yx and xy are in multiplication with each other, as is the case with uh, our uh, regular algebraic expressions. But in this case, yx, if I were to find the value of the number, See, when I have two digits, say y x, y in the tens place and x in the units place, the value of this number is going to be y is in the tens place. Therefore, the digit y gets multiplied by 10 and I will add x to it because x is in the units place. Similarly, if I take the number x y, x is in the tens place, so its uh, value gets multiplied by 10. And y is in the units place, so I will add y into 1, which is y. So the value of yx is going to be 10y plus x minus of xy two digit would be 10x plus y is equal to 9. So when I open the brackets, I get 10y plus x minus 10x minus y is equal to 9. Now 10y minus y is 9y and x minus 10x is minus 9x equals 9. So dividing throughout by 9, I get y minus x is equal to 1, right? So the there are two equations that I've got now. The first equation was x plus y is equal to 5. That is my first equation. And the second equation is minus x. If you notice the coefficient of x is minus 1. So minus x plus y is equal to 1. These are the two equations that I should be solving now. So let me add these two equations because on adding the two equations x will cancel. So x minus x cancels I get 2y is equal to 6 which means y equals 3. If I substitute y as 3, if I substitute y as 3 in the first equation I get x plus 3 equals 5 which means x equals 2, right? Therefore, the two-digit number, the two-digit number is therefore, the two-digit number is therefore, uh, if I take the tens place, it is the digit x, so that's 2, and the uh, units place digit is y, so it is 3. So therefore, the two-digit number is 23. Uh, let's do a quick check. Let's add the two digits. 
2 plus 3 is equal to 5, right? So the first condition matches. And when the digits are reversed, so if I re reverse the number 23, I get 32. And 32 is greater than the original number. That is 32 is greater than 23 by a value of 9. So this matches the second condition. Also. Therefore, my answer is definitely right. Let me pause for a few seconds and then we will go on to our next question. Okay, moving on to our next question. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9. So let's frame our first equation. You will notice that as soon as I read a, I read a statement, I tend to frame the equation. So let the two digit number, let the two digit number be xy, let the two digit number be xy. So x is in the tens place and y is in the units place and the sum of the digits is 9. So x plus y is equal to 9. This is my first equation, right? So let's box it. Also 9 times, also 9 times this number, that is 9 times xy is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. So what they're telling me is, 9 times this number, that is 9 times xy, again mind you this is not x into y, 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the digits. So the number obtained by reversing the digits is going to be yx, obtained by reversing the digits, reversing the digits is y x right y is in the tens place and x is in the units place so it is two times y x this is the tens place and this is the units place so now again let us write the value of the number i know that the value of x y not x into y mind you again x y x in the tens place is 10 x and y in the units place is y equals two times the digit in the tens place is y so it is 10 y plus x right so now let's open the brackets 9 into 10x is 90x and 9 into y is 9y equals 2 into 10y is 20y plus 2x let us now shuffle the equations so 2x uh, will come to the left side for subtraction which means 90x minus 2x is equal to 20y minus 9y 90x, I'm sorry, excuse me, it should have been 90 minus 2x, not 2y. So 90 minus 2x is equal to 20y minus 9y, which means 88x is equal to 11y. And this implies 88x divided by 11 is equal to y. And therefore, y is equal to 8x. This is my second equation. So now what I can do is, I can solve these two equations. I think substitution method will help me here because I have a valid substitution for y. So substitute y as 8x, substitute y as 8x in say the first equation. Uh, we get uh, x 
plus y is 8x so 8x plus 8x is 9 which means 9x is 9 which means x is equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 8x that is 8 into 1 is 8 and therefore my original number or the number is the tens digit was x right so x is 1 and the unit digit is 8. So the number is 18. Now let us quickly check if it satisfies all the conditions. Uh, the sum of the digits is 9. 1 plus 8 is definitely 9. So it matches. And 9 times this number. So let us find 9 times 18. 9 times 18 is 162. Is twice the number obtained by reversing the digit. So reversing the digit gives me 81. And twice of 81 is also 162. So the second condition also matches. 9 times the number is twice of the number obtained by reversing the digits and therefore our answer is right. So the answer is the number is 18. Yeah, this is our final answer. So let me again pause for a couple of seconds and uh, then we move on to our next question. Okay, moving on. The sum of father's age and twice the age of his son is 70. If we double the age of the father and add it to the age of the son, the sum is 95. Find their present ages. So let us quickly assign our variables. Let the father's age be x. Let the father's age let the father's age be x and the son's age and the son's age be y. Okay, and these are their present ages. So we basically have to find x and y. We have asked to find the present age. The sum of their ages, the sum of the father's age and, and twice the age of the son. So the sum of father's age that is x plus twice the age of his son that is 2y is 70 that's the first equation and now let's see the second equation if we double the age of the father that is 2x and add it to the age of the son the sum is 95 that is 2x plus y is equal to 95 this is the second equation so now we can go ahead and find the values of x and y. I noticed that the coefficients are swapped. So adding these two equations will help me. So let's add the two equations. I get 3x plus 3y is equal to 165. So dividing by 3 I get x plus y is equal to 55. So this is my third equation. Now for a change I am not going to subtract the two equations here. I am going to use this equation and the first equation that is x plus 2y is 70 and solve the simultaneous equation. So let us subtract. If you subtract you will notice that the variable x vanishes. So when I subtract I get x minus x cancels and y minus 2y cancels. 
I get 55 minus 70. So x minus x cancels. Y minus 2y is minus y equals 55 minus 70 is minus 15. So negative negative terms cancel and therefore I get y equals 50. This is the first condition that I get. Right. And uh, now I can substitute. So let's substitute. Okay, let's not mark this as 1 because we already have a different equation marked as 1. So y is equal to 15. Let's substitute y equals 15 in say the first equation. So what we get is x plus 2 times 15 is equal to 70 which means x plus 30 is equal to 70 or x is equal to 40. So what this means is the father's age was x. So in the statement form I will write the answer as follows. The age of the father is 40 years and the age of his son is 15 years. Now of course you can check the answer. Uh, let's double the son's age. So it will be 30 and 40 plus 30 is 70. So that matches our first condition which is given here. Yeah, uh, the age is 70. And let's double the father's age. So father is 40, doubling his age would be 80. And 80 plus 15 would be 95. So both the condition, both the equations or both the conditions are being satisfied by these numbers and therefore this is the right solution. So again pausing for a few seconds and then we move on to our next question. Okay, moving on. A two digit number and the number with digits interchanged add up to 143. So what it means is if I have a two digit number and I reverse their digits, okay, then if I add those two numbers, that is if I add the original number and the reversed uh, number, then the addition is 143. So let's start with our assumptions. Uh, let the two digit number be XY. Let the two digit number, let the two digit number be xy, okay. And uh, therefore, this is the tens place, this is the units place. So, I know that the reversed number, the reversed number is going to be, reversed number is yx, right. y in the tens place and x in the units place. It is given that the sum of these numbers, that is xy, plus yx is 143. Now what is xy? So because x is in the tens place, let us, let us write the digits also, tens and units. So because x is in the tens place, I know that the value of this number is going to be 10x plus y and the digit y is in the tens place. So it is going to be 10y plus x is equal to 143. Adding the like terms, 10x plus x is 11x and y plus 10y is 11y is equal to 143, which means dividing the equation throughout by 11, I get x plus y is equal to 13. So this is the first equation that I get. Then in the given number, let's read the next condition now. In the given number, the digit in the units place is 3 more than the digits in the tens place. So what was our number? Our number was xy. It's given that the digit in the units place, that is this digit y, y is 3 more than, y is 3 more than the digit in the tens place, which is x. That is y is 3 more than x. 
So the equation that I would write here is y is 3 more than x, right? So the other equation that I have here is y is equal to 3 plus x. So now these two conditions are ready. Okay, let me uh, explain the second part one more time. It was given that the digit in the units place, which what is the digit in our units place in the original number? It is y is 3 more than the digit in the tens place. So y is 3 more than x, which means y equals 3 plus x. So now what we will do is, these are the two equations. I can use the technique of substitution. So I will say substitute, substitute y equals 3 plus x in the first equation. And what I will get is x plus y can be written as 3 plus x. So 3 plus x is equal to 13, which means 2x plus 3 is equal to 13, which means 2x is 10 or x is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of the digit x is 5 and now let's find the value of y. I know that let's substitute, let's substitute x equal to 5 in my first equation, which is my first equation, the one that I'm highlighting right now. That's my first equation. So if I substitute x as 5 there, I will get 5 plus y is equal to 13, which means y equals 8 and therefore, the number is the original number. The original number is it was taken as x y. So x is 5 and y is 8. That means the original number was 58. Let us now quickly check our uh, result. Uh, 58 and the number obtained by reversing the digits is 85. 58 plus 85 is indeed 143. And the digit in the units place is 3 more than the digit in the tens place. So this answer is correct. And uh, let me again pause for a few seconds and then we move on to our next question. Okay, moving on. Two numbers differ by 3. The sum of twice the smaller number and twice the greater number is 19. Find the numbers. So, let, I will say, let the greater number be x. Let the greater number be x. Now, why am I picking greater and smaller? Because they have mentioned it in the question, right? And they differ by 3. So, I have to pick one of the numbers as greater and the other one as smaller. So, let the greater number be x and the smaller number be, the smaller number be y. Okay. So, now it's given that two numbers differ by 3. That means, the greater number minus the smaller number is equal to 3. This is the first equation. Then, let's see uh, what the second equation should be. The sum of twice the smaller number, the sum of twice the smaller number. So, which is the smaller number here? It's y. So, sum of 2y and thrice the greater number, that is 3x. This sum is equal to 19. We have to find the two numbers. So, again, in the second equation, I have sum of thrice the greater number and twice the smaller number is 19. So, these are the two equations. So, now what I am going to do is, I am going to eliminate y. 
let me multiply the first equation by 2. So what I get is 2x minus 2y is equal to 6. And uh, let's keep the second equation as it is. I get 3x plus 2y is equal to 19. And let's add up these two equations. So when I add these two equations, I get 5x is equal to 25, which means x is equal to 5. So uh, the greater number is 5. Now let's find the smaller number. Let us substitute x as 5. Substitute x as 5 in equation 1. And what I get is 5 minus y is equal to 3. Solving this, I get y equals 2. And therefore, the two numbers are, the two numbers are 5 and, are 5 and 2. Now, let's quickly check. Uh, the two numbers are differing by 3. 5 minus 2 is indeed 3. And sum of twice the smaller. So, uh, twice the smaller would be 4. And thrice the larger number that is 15 so 15 plus 4 will be 19 and that matches the given condition so the solution is absolutely right and i'm going to pause for a couple of seconds and then move on to the next one Okay, moving on. The sum of present ages of Manish and Savita is 31. Manish's age 3 years ago was 4 times the age of Savita. Find their present ages. So, what I am going to do here is, I am going to create a nice table and uh, plot all my variables in that table and then use the parameters from that variable to solve this question. So, let me construct the table first. Okay, so this is the table that I have constructed. Uh, there are two people in this particular problem. That's Manish and Savita. So, uh, I have plotted this particular table, keeping their names on the uh, top row. And today, let's assume that the uh, age of Manish today is X. And let Savita's age today be Y. So, let me note that down. Let Manish's age be x years and Savita's age, Savita's age be y years. Okay. Now uh, it's given that their sum of the present age is 31. That is, addition of x and y has to be 31. So that is my first equation. x plus y is 31, is my first equation. Now, Manish age 3 years ago. So, today Manish is x 3 years ago. Manish is going to be x minus 3. And Savita is y today. 3 years ago, she is going to be y minus 3. Now, 3 years ago, Manish's age was 4 times Savita's age. So, let me write that over here. Manish's age, Manish's age was 4 times Savita's age. That means Savita's age multiplied by 4 
So Savita's age three years ago was y minus three. So Savita's age three years ago was y minus three. That multiplied by four was equal to Manish's age three years ago. So x minus three is four times y minus three. So let us now evaluate this. This is x minus three equals four y minus twelve. Which means x is equal to 4y minus 12 plus 3, or x is equal to 4y minus 9. So this is my second equation, right? So let me repeat that again. Money's age three years ago. So I have written that as x minus 3 was four times. So four times means four multiplied by. So four multiplied by Savita's age. Uh, Three years ago, right? So Savita's age three years ago was y minus three. So this is the equation. I opened up the brackets. Four into y was four four y, and four into minus three was minus twelve. Now rearranging, I shifted the minus three to the other side, and I got x equals four y minus nine. So now I can substitute uh, x as four y minus nine. So substituting, substitute x equals 4y minus 9 in the first equation I get so instead of x I have to write 4y minus 9 so 4y minus 9 which is x plus y is equal to 31 so solving this 4y plus y is 5y and minus 9 is equal to 31 so I can transpose the 9 to the other side it goes for addition so 31 plus 9 is 40 which means y equals 8 right so uh, Savita's age right now is 8 years let us fill that in the column so Savita's age is 8 years and now let's substitute y as 8 let us substitute y equal to 8 in say the second equation so what I get is x is 4 times 8 minus 9 that's 32 minus 9 which is 23. So Manish's age is 23 years. So let us quickly check uh, the sum of the ages today is 23 plus 8 that's 31. I think that condition is being met. Three years ago Manish's age would have been 20 and Savita's age would have been 8 minus 3 which is 5. So three years ago Manish would have been four times Savita's age and that also matches the given condition. Hence our solution is correct. So if I were to write this in a statement form, I would write it as follows. I would write it as Mani's present age is 23 years and Savita's present age is 8 years. So again, uh, let me pause for a couple of seconds and then we will continue with our next question. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's take a look at this question. Complete the following. I am a rectangle. Okay, the sides are, so if I look at the uh, length, the length is 4x minus y as well as 2x plus y plus 8. I know that according to the property of a rectangle, the opposite sides have to be equal, right? So I will note this down. I will say according to the properties of rectangle, According to the properties of rectangle, the opposite sides have to be equal. The opposite sides have to be equal. And therefore, 
I can say that 2x plus y plus 8, 2x plus y plus 8 should be equal to 4x minus y. Let's rearrange all the variables on one side and constants on the other later on. And the breadth is 2y. So 2y should be equal to x plus 4, right? That is the breadth given on the other side. So these are my two equations. Now I should uh, find, they are asking me to find the values of x and y. Also find the perimeter and area. So let us solve these two equations for x and y. Let us transpose 2x to the other side and y to the other side. So what I get is 4x minus y minus 2x minus y is equal to 8, which means 2x minus 2y is equal to 8, which means x minus y is equal to 4. This is my first equation. And now let's take a look at the second equation. I have 2y equals x plus 4 which would mean minus x plus 2y. So what I've done is I've transposed the x to the left hand side. So the positive x becomes negative x on the other side. So negative x plus 2y is equal to 4. That's the second equation. And now what I can do is I can simply add these two equations, right? If I add the two equations, I notice that x is going to get cancelled. So adding 1 and 2, I get uh, x minus x cancels, minus y plus 2y becomes uh, plus y equals 4 plus 4 becomes 8. Therefore, the value of y is 8. Now, let's substitute y equals 8, substitute y equal to 8 in the first equation. So, what I get is x minus y, that's x minus 8 is equal to 4, which means x equals 12. Therefore, the values of x and y are x equals 12 and y equals 4. Now, they are asking me to find the perimeter and area. So, to find the perimeter and area, I should first be finding the sides, right? Now, let's concentrate on the breadth over here. So, what is the breadth here? Breadth is 2y. So, y is 8. So, 2y is going to be 16. So, the breadth of the rectangle, the breadth of the rectangle is 16 and let's find the length so the uh, the value of x is 12 so it's going to be 4 times 12 minus y is 8 that's going to be 48 minus 8 which is 40 so the length is 40 and now from this i can easily find the perimeter and area perimeter will be uh, 2 times length plus breadth that's 2 times 40 plus 16 which is 112 and the area will be length into breadth that's 40 into 16 by the way don't forget the units so this is 112 units and this will be 640 square units right so the perimeter is 112 units and the area is 640 square units so this is how you solve this particular question that is based on rectangles Again, let me pause for a couple of seconds and then we will move on to our next question. Okay, uh, moving on. 7 times a 2 digit number is equal to 4 times the number obtained by reversing the digits. Okay, that's the first condition given to me. So, 7 times a 2 digit number is equal to 4 times the number obtained by reversing the digits. So, let the 2 digit number, let's start off assigning the variables to the digits. Let the two digit 
number let the two digit number be x y right so this is the tens place and the units place now it's given that seven times the two digit number seven times the two digit number is equal to is equal to four times four times the number obtained by reversing the digit so when i reverse the digits so the reverse number will be yx right so y appears in the tens place and x appears in the units place so uh, seven times the two digit number is four times the number obtained by reversing the digits and therefore this number is seven times uh, x is in tens place so it becomes 10x plus y is equal to four times uh, let's expand this this is 10x plus y time to open up the brackets so 70x plus 7y is equal to 40x plus 4y which means uh, I think I made a mistake here. Instead of x y, it should be y x, isn't it? Because that is the reverse number. So let's uh, correct the mistake. Yeah. So uh, the reverse number is now going to be y x. Okay. Let me write that in red. So is y x, which means 10 y plus x, and therefore that's going to be 40 y plus 4 x. So now let's. Uh, uh, transform the variables from one side to other let's transpose them so 4x comes to the left side for subtraction so 70x minus 4x becomes equal to 7y transposes to the other side that is 40y minus 7y so i get 66x is equal to 33y which means uh, dividing both sides by 33 i get y is equal to 2 times x this is my first equation right this is the first equation now from this equation it should give us a good sense of which digit is greater y is twice of x this implies that y is the greater digit y is the greater digit and x is the smaller digit x is smaller that's because y is twice of x so if x was 3 y would be 2 into 3 that's 6 so y is the greater digit and now this is going to be important because they have given me the difference of digits is 3 that means the difference in the two digits that is y minus x is equal to 3 this forms my second equation so now what i can do is i can solve these two equations and find the value of x and y so solving these two equations will get uh, x equals 3 and y equals 6 okay you can use either the uh, sorry y equals 6 you can use either the elimination method or the substitution method any method is fine and therefore the two digit number the two digit number is therefore is therefore it was x y which means it is 36 now we should perform a quick check on whether our answer is right or not so let's perform a quick check. Uh, let us take uh, the original condition 7 times the 2 digits. So 7 times 36. Let us find 7 times 36 is 252. And 4 times the number obtained by reversing the digits, which is 4 times 63, is also 252. So you will notice that 7 times the original number is indeed equal to 4 times the number obtained by reversing the digits and it is also seen that the difference between the digits is 3. So this answer is right. Uh, I, I wanted to show you here that when you get y equal to 2x that is a very important point in understanding uh, the difference of the digits because when they say the difference of the digits is 3, okay let me elaborate a little more on this. If they say that the difference in the digits is 3, there are two options, right? One is either x minus y, one is either x minus y is 3, or the other option is y minus x is 3. Now, because y was equal to 2x, we knew that y is the greater number. Therefore, this is the wrong approach and y minus x equal to 3 was the right approach. So, this is one important point. 
that I want to bring to your attention in this particular point. Okay, let me pause for a couple of seconds. Okay, so uh, let us conclude uh, with the problems that we have solved so far and we will solve more simultaneous equation problems in the next segment.